Hello everybody, welcome back to Print Parabelle. Today I have... Emily. Emily here, and Emily's helping me kick off a six part series on back to school hair plaits and braids, right? And which braid are you having today? A Dutch braid. That's right, and it's going to come around the side into a little ponytail, huh? Are you excited? Because I'm like the best hair artist in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we get started? <laughs> cool, high five. Okay, so there's going to be a couple things that we're going to need. If you have a little one who has um, flyaway hair, um, this is quite a good plot to do if they've just gotten out of the bath or if their hair is dry. Something like the Anti Static um, by Lush is really good and it's quite natural, and that will just get rid of that flyaway um, so it makes it easier to plait it. You'll need um, a comb, obviously, and also I like to use these little hair elastics, which you can get from Amazon or Boots or any sort of drugstore. Um, you get like hundreds of them in a little pack, and these are brilliant. All right, so I'm going to just brush through Emily's hair. Take a section of hair at the front and split it into three. Then take the right strand and put it under the middle strand. Take the left strand and put it over. Grab another section of hair, add it to the right strand which is sort of tucked underneath at the moment in the middle. And take that middle over that left strand. So you're bringing that left strand back into the middle now. I've pronged my finger through so I can grab more hair and I slide it between my middle two fingers which are holding the middle section of hair. It really does help if you learn how to sort of use one hand to do one thing and the other rather than trying to plait with two hands at all times. So I've taken that middle strand and I'm going to pop it over the right. So that right strand is now back in the middle of the fingers. Grabbing another section, popping it between the fingers in the middle that is holding that middle section. And if you see in my thumb up there, that is holding the old middle section that's coming over. And I'm bringing that left side now to the middle. Now continue on the other side, take another section and add it between the two middle fingers that are holding the old middle section. And I'm going to take what's in my thumb right there and bring it over. Grabbing another section, slide it between those two fingers that are holding the old middle section. And I'm going to take what's in my thumb and I'm going to wrap that over. sort of pulling out any knots. There you go. So as you can see, I've just continued to follow this down, adding more, sticking through the two middle fingers that are holding that middle section, and just weaving over that next middle section and popping it between my two fingers eventually. There you go. Now Emily has the um, <laughs> special hair that has a double crown and several cowlicks in the in the front um, so it's quite a good one to show because her hair isn't um, just plain straight she has cowlicks everywhere and lots of fun funky things happening
and just taking that clear elastic just gonna pop it into a ponytail now I wanted to actually plait it all the way down but Amelie wanted a ponytail so we left it at this but you obviously you can plait it all the way down and just turns into a normal braid or plait um, and then you just secure it off at the bottom um, but Amelie um, knows what she lacks and so we went for this style uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, thanks for watching Alright, so that's us all done. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It didn't take too long, did it? No. You got a little bit hungry. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It was like five minutes. If you turn your head that way, ah. then they can sort of see you got your little side ponytail. We could have plaited it all the way down, but you wanted to keep it as a ponytail, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Are you happy now? Are you going to go to your grandparents now? Yay! Awesome. Thanks. Bye! <laughs>